Hobby Ski, Skirberger, with my nigga Lou. Seven Mile, Southfield, Rose Mott, you know, between Southfield and Evergreen, Pembroke area. Feel me? That's it. Good on the whole mile, though. Whole mile straight. Shit, I guess like you're kind of growing up anywhere. Uh, fights. You know how, you know the regular city, inner city shit, fights, shoots, shootings, drugs, all that shit. Regular shit to be, you know, just like everywhere else. I've been rapping like maybe, sheesh, five or six years. I knew. Well, I ain't know her and I wanted to be a rapper. I just used to, my mans and them used to be popular though, back when we was in high school and shit like that. I ain't never really take it serious though. Other people really got me into it more than myself, you know. That's really what it was. Mmm. Shit, I guess it's like a, uh, Kind of like an educated drill or something. I don't know how to, like a, you know, vo drill with vocabulary or something, you know? Story drill or something. I don't know how to explain it, but you get where I'm going with it. Dude, like 50 Cent, Street Lord Y, Way, uh, 50 Cent, Street Lord Y, Way. Probably, that's like the majority right there. Them three right there. 50 cent the most though. Uh, damn, that's crazy. I listen to so many people and I'm really trying to think. I know I listen a lot of, like, oh yeah, Kodak. Is it, yeah, it's Kodak, probably Kodak. I give anybody a listen. I give, I listen to all type of shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. I might be the first nigga on YouTube as a little kid. I listen to everything. No cap. He followed me at first, but never said nothing to me, you know. You get what I'm saying? He said some little shit in the DM, but he ain't replied to me when I wrote back. He just left it there. But I had made a little song off Ply's beat. The uh, running off on the plug, plies beat. Then he put a video of rapping that in the airport. You get what I'm saying? So that's how, that's how everything kind of stepped. And then we ended up, uh, first time I met him, we ended up like in the fucking show in Ohio. Everybody was there. Cardi B, all type of people was at that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even all the way rapping during that connection. It just, Somehow just popped. I guess he uh kind of were fucked with my character more than anything. I, it kind of blew me. It blew me. See, that was my, that's the influence I was missing. But we got to, remember I thought so hard. I couldn't think it was Sosa though. But I'm so used to saying Sosa. I feel like niggas think I be just saying that to say it. But I'm like one of the few niggas who one of their favorite rappers. Really my favorite rapper at the time. Really tapped in. And I ain't had no music out at all. Almost felt crazy to me. That's, that's really family more like, you know, that's more like of a family kind of connection. It's not like a, that's not like a connection I picked up in the streets. That's like, a, you know, that's, a lot of people think that, you know, we owe each other something different, but we really family, you know, we was already locked in and everything. Knew him for as long as I knew Earth, literally that long. No exaggerations, you know. Shit, D-Pots, that's my baby, you know. I do D-Pots from middle school. A lot of people don't even know that. Me and Pots have been all the way back in middle school. And we was close in middle school, so. That's really that, so. We always tight. We still talk day to day. Stun hard. I kind of don't, you know. 
whatever happened, happened, you know, I'm past it, but we just, you know, people grow apart, man, you know. I love, I love them, though. We just grew apart, though. Shit, that's like the first, it's like the first positive thing I ever done in my life, so it kind of mean the world to me, you know? It really mean everything to me. Rather, rather I stick with, rather I stick with that for life or something new branch off front line is always gonna be the beginning of a, you know, the rebirth. I mean everything. Pop started that too, I don't know. He just, you know, I guess he left it to me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be okay, Jones, number one. Vibe Classic, number two. Like D. Dale. Uh, some more. Cookie Monster 2, DJ, DJ Real. They gotta get used to, get ready and used to DJ Younger. He hard. But, uh, 2G. That's like the, the bulk. And Don Cartier, that's like the, that's the bulk of everything right there. Of course, hell of a but You know, that's like, that's like saying Michael Jordan, your favorite player, for real, so I ain't, you know. If, uh, if the beat's super energetic, I like to, I don't, I don't have to write on a super energy, like, cause it's like that type of energy, anything in the drill, that's drill based, I kinda can do that, like, you know, that come to me freehanded, like, you know, like walking. It's that simple to me, but if it's, a little more complex, I want to write so I don't play with my own talents, you know? And just make sure, I'm, and don't play with people, man, make people hear me saying anything. More complex shit, I really, I write that more than I freestyle that. Shit, you took them all my mouth, I was just about to say that. Robbery Monster, uh, Snow King, maybe the For Show Magazine freestyle, uh... That's probably like the, that's it right there. The main, you know, out of all of the, a lot of songs I made, that's the majority of what I'm gonna hear people say, Monster and Robbery. Really Monster though. Even though Robbery seemed like it'd be the bigger one, but Monster got the most feedback in the For Show Magazine Freestyle. Shout out to Joseph for that too. Right now, um, it's like, it's like more, everybody trying to, I don't know, it's like more, everybody being, trying to, trying their best to be unique now, the best way they can. A couple years ago, being unique was probably, wasn't a good idea in Detroit, you know, so now it's a, being unique a good idea in Detroit, you know, that's, that's the big thing. That's the only difference, really. You, oh yeah, and the, of course the spotlight, finally. Find some spotlight. Um, the recent releases, that's my, doing like my introduction back, you know, for taking the breaks, the long breaks, just letting people know I'm done for real, so. I, I don't wanna say I dislike the songs. I like the songs though, but you know they more for, you know, they not the best of what's to come, they just like stepping stones to let people know, you know, that type of thing. Be yourself. If yourself don't work, that will. I don't know. Eventually fake it, you run into a dead end, fake it, so be yourself. Shit, um, man, I just really want to, want to leave the city, man, I know <coughs> that was like the biggest thing for me. I moved once, but I came right back, I really was too homesick, for real, but really want to just leave the city for at least a year. That's my only goal. Everything else is easy, for real. That's the hardest thing for me right now, just leave home. And
everything's a secret. From now on, that's just to be, you know, be more like myself, man. I'm a part of a mystery, so. Just need to make everything a mystery, you know. People just see it when they see it. No special release dates, no nothing. Surprise release date. You know, just because it's me, you know, the work at work. My nigga Luke, shout out to my nigga Luke, yeah. He white though, don't call him a nigga. But, shout out to my nigga Luke. And the homie, that's it. That's probably it. You like, uh, you like, do you like know how to research stuff, huh? Hell, that way, no, for sure. Do we do it for a loop?